you should think about managing energy, not time. So time is a zero sum game, right? Uh, we all have the same 24 hours as Beyonce. Everyone's heard that. Yes. <clears throat> um, Beyonce has more people around her. She's thought about who, not how a lot deeply. You can tell. Um, but the thing is, as you know, like everyone's biorhythms are kind of different, I think. And this is like, this is an example of mine. So I get up at 5 a.m. Uh, and it takes me a little while to get going. This is normally about coffee number one. Um, and by, you know, this is, we get the brief out about here. And this is obviously when I am most creative is in the morning. And then my energy will kind of hit a peak by about lunchtime. Like, so I'm very much what, what they would call a morning person or what people would call a morning person. Um, I will try and exercise around about this point. So my day looks a, a little bit different to everyone else's. Like I'll start work at 5 a.m., but then I'll take a break and go and exercise and take the dog out, whatever. And then I'll come back and do some other creative stuff. I don't like appointments in this area because that's the time that I use to work on my business um, rather than letting other people infiltrate that time. Um, I will, this is my peak meeting time where my energy hasn't dropped off, um, but you know, like where I'm still useful and can come up with ideas and things like that. Where I don't like doing important stuff is down here where my energy is low. Draw the axis and map like on a 24 hour scale when your energy is highest. When your energy is highest as, as BDMs, that's when you should be doing your most productive work on your business and with your clients.